All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Nintendo Switch 2 Pro Controller 2 to your Windows PC and get it running using two tools. The first one is ProCon 2 Enabler Tool. I will link both of these in the video description so you don't have to, like, remember what the URL is. And then you're also going to need to download and run XOutput 3.32 here at the top. It's just a zip file. And then you're also going to need to plug in your Pro Controller 2. This does not work over Bluetooth. When it does, I'll make a tutorial specifically about that. So to get started, plug your controller in, have it in front of you, and then you can click right here on ProCon 2 Enabler Tool, Enable HID Output. Here it'll ask you which one of these you want to enable output for. I'm gonna select Pro Controller. Yours will probably not say paired, mine just does because I just tested this a couple of times. Hit connect, and then this should turn green, and then there should be some fancy fun text here that doesn't say error. With that green, we can move to the next step, which is we're going to use X output to convert all of the hid inputs inside of here to a standard X input configuration that your computer knows what to do with. So just download the zip file, Open that bad boy up, uh, just export it, or just right click and extract it to a file of the same name. And then inside of the X output file, you'll just want to run the application called X output. The logo is just a big black X in a kind of like off gray teal circle. Run that and you'll be presented with a little window like this. It'll show you've got a unknown hid device, your keyboard and your mouse. So from there, we want to add a new controller down here in the game controllers list, and then we're going to hit edit. Inside this window, it'll not really do anything right now. If you wanna make sure your controller is actually functional, you can hit edit on this top device up here that's green, and it'll show you the movements and button presses of your controller. And that'll open up this window, and that'll show you all the button presses and motions of your controller but they're not linked to anything, they're just mystery button number five. So to get around that, we're gonna go to controller, we're gonna hit edit, and this is where we're gonna bind all the keys for this controller. But we're not gonna do them one at a time with these buttons because that would be insane. We're gonna go down to the bottom here and click configure all. And that's gonna bring open this menu where you just press the buttons as they light up, and then that will allow you to rebind all of your keys. Give them a press as they start to shine, and it'll automatically bind them as necessary. The whole objective here is to make this mimic an Xbox controller so that it can just be played by any game on your Windows machine. So once you're done doing that, it should only take a moment. All these different buttons should be configured and you can see them appear everywhere on the screen, including, you know, like the A, B, trigger buttons, everything should light up. But I will say, make sure you double check which position your joysticks are going, because it looks like, just like when I was testing it before, my left joystick is complete, well, is partially inverted. So the up down is inverted. So we're gonna go here to the LY and we're gonna click this invert button, and then that will fix that problem. So if you need to hit this button right here, invert, you might also need to hit this one at the top, depending on which one is inverted. If your right stick is inverted, you may need to hit the third or the fourth button here at the top that says invert. But we're good, that all looks fancy and set up, so we can hit exit. And then the last thing we need to do is hit start, and that will kick this over into a virtual Xbox controller, and now we can use this to play all of our favorite uh, PC games. We can even test this on a gamepad testing website, you can just reload this, and it should show up as an Xbox controller. Actually, it'll show up twice. This one, it'll show up as a PlayStation controller, and it will be completely incorrectly bound. But because we set it up with X output, it'll mimic an Xbox controller, and we can use it now on any program on the computer as if it was. Just note that you're gonna have to leave my D-pad is currently screwed up, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But it'll currently mimic an Xbox controller. Let's go back and stop that. 
let's edit this. Where's my D pad? D pad, let's configure up. Okay, save that. Let's configure down. Save that. Let's configure left. And then let's configure right. Now that's done, we can start it again. And now my D-pad is fixed. So everything should work and run correctly that shows up on here. Although my A button is also being a little bit of a problem because I was trying to do that while talking. So we'll just fix that ourselves. Very easy to do and a good reason to double check that everything is set up correctly before you get started playing with this. Okay, now with my D-pad fixed and my A button fixed, we should be good to go. Yeah, everything's exactly where it needs to be. Fantastic. So yeah, with the, from here, you're ready to boot up your favorite game, and you should be able to play it just fine. Do note that this is just a temporary fix once they have other drivers like BetterJoy and Steam's built-in drivers up to date. I will show you how to configure those which may also include a workaround for getting the Bluetooth to work for this correctly in the future. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and the links to these tools, if you decide you need all of them, including the game pad tester, will be in the video description below. You'll need the ProCon 2 enabler tool and the X output at the very least. I also recommend the game pad tester. It just lets you determine if everything is working correctly. So that'd be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Uh, bye, everybody, and have a good one.